Welcome back to the Washington State Dynasty and welcome to a rainy San Diego Stadium and to the Holiday Bowl. Washington State will take on the Baylor Bears today. Baylor has slipped up recently 7-5 on the year, but they are led by a very talented quarterback in Chris Johnson who will be playing today. He has struggled with injuries throughout the season. He was probable and he definitely will be playing for the Baylor Bears. In our last game, we finally beat Washington in Season 4 of this dynasty. It took us 4 tries. Now 1-3 and three against them, but we will start off with the ball. We need to establish the ground game in today's game to keep the ball away from Baylor's offense. And also with the rainy conditions, it might be a little hard to pass the ball. As Luke Falk just stood in the pocket like a statue, did not try and move or throw the ball. So third and forever upcoming. Falk will take a shot. And what a catch by River Craycraft, the senior wide receiver, playing his final game as a Washington State Cougar. However, it was not enough for the first down. Parrish gets the catch from Chris Johnson as he will go for 14 yards. Chris Johnson was a very raw prospect out of high school as a quarterback, but he has since honed those skills and to becoming a very polished passer and leads one of the best offenses in all of college football. A throw to the outside for Davion Hall, and he is short of the first down line, so third and one upcoming. Baylor still keeps their tempo. We did steal their offensive coordinator in the previous offseason, and that might actually be a reason for Baylor's struggles. They are 7-5 entering today's game. The kick is away. It's a long one. It's no good. He kicked it into the win. So we will take over from the 35-yard line. Very good field position for Jamal Morrow, who was lit up. What a hit by Trivian Brockwell. Second and 12. A quick throw across the middle for River Craycraft. Already a second catch on the day. He gets 11, needs one more for the first down. Third and one from the three wide set. Luke Falk into the flats for Jamal Morrow, and he is hit down hard again. This time it's Blanchard, and we will be forced to punt the ball away. Could not pick up the first down. A beautiful punt by Descalo, and it is out of bounds. Might be inside of the five yard line. Just outside of it at the six. Johnson will go to the air, cross middle for Katie Cannon. The senior wide receiver with a huge catch for 18 yards. First and 10, a three-man front as we will bring a blitz. Johnson escapes to the outside. He's a big, powerful runner who picks up 11 yards. We have 13 seniors playing their final game today as a Washington State Cougar. A lot of them on defense, but a couple on offense also. So it will be nice to see them play very well. Now the triple option, pitch outside to Terrence Williams. He cuts back to the middle of the field. He's past the 45 yard line to the 43 as second and six upcoming. Now a counter play to Williams, somehow escapes the tackler. He's got the first down, a gain of seven. Williams, a very big, powerful back and he compliments Chris Johnson very well. Johnson will try and scramble and he's caught by the shoelaces maybe. Wade Welsh with his second sack on the season, the red shirt sophomore. Now Johnson in the pocket and a wild throw, had a receiver but it is incomplete so Baylor will try another long field goal, they missed the first one, this one's online but it's no good again, once again kicking into the win and could not get it to go. Two minutes to go in the first quarter, a throw to the outside for Sebastian LaRue, nice throw and a tight window for the senior wide receiver and senior quarterback. Now Jamal Morrow will get the carry, the senior running back, a lot of very key seniors on this team as he picks up seven yards. Trips to the right as Luke Falk will go to the air. Nope, he goes down a loss of seven. A quick blitz by Byron Bonds for a big stop. Luke Falk down the middle and it's knocked away by Bonds as we will be forced to punt once again. Can we pin him deep again? Kick by Descalo. This one's even better than the last. Now I'm sure that's within the five. As second and eight for Chris Johnson under center. He will go down, sacked by Hercules Mata'afa. He goes untouched. Now the give to Terrence Williams. He bounces it outside. He's got it to the 10 yard line, so that will force the punt. And we will take over great field position from the 45 yard line, though, on third and 10. But it's caught somehow by Richie Wiley. He's inside of the 10 yard line, a gain of 38. No idea how he caught that ball. A great throw by Luke Falk. Now the throw to Craycraft, he is to the one yard line just shy of a touchdown. A three wide set right up the middle, no resistance at all as Jamal Rowe will run right into the end zone. Baylor has the ball once again, now down by seven points. Chris Johnson on the play action, fires across the middle four. Parachute breaks a tackle, 
and he is hit down hard by Suleiman Hamid, the junior safety. Four man front on first and ten, counter play to Williams. He's got some room, nice stiff arm, and the ball is out. Kevin Griffin on the recovery, a huge play by our defense. He was not down. First and ten, Luke Falk across the middle. He's got Craycraft again. He's been very productive early on, trying to get him involved in the offense as he is our senior receiver. Once again to Craycraft, he cuts back to the left, he's to the 16 yard line, a gain of 15. With a huge game today, Craycraft does have a chance to break 1,000 yards receiving on the season. Another throw to him, he's got 11 yards, as we are just going right back to him, they have not been able to stop him yet. Once more to Craycraft for the fifth time on this drive, he's in the end zone for a touchdown. Luke Falk off to a great start, only one incompletion, 137 yards passing. We bring a blitz at Johnson, and he's brought down by Alex Dixon, his first sack on the season, and it's a big one, a loss of five. Dixon getting some early playing time, already three tackles on the day. Johnson hit as he throws, he takes a shot, he's got a man, and just out of bounds is Katie Cannon. So we will take over as Jamal Morrow has the ball, he is brought down from behind but does pick up six yards. Third down upcoming, a three wide set. We'll run the read option, and Luke Falk is stopped. He'll lose three yards, so we will be forced to punt. We weren't able to pin them this time, but now a throw across the middle for Davion Hall, who is lit up by Greg Hoyt, but does pick up eight yards, so third and two upcoming. This is a huge third down. Johnson will try and run, and he barely gets it, as Mo Toppa could not stop him from getting the first down. Heavy blitz brought by the Cougs. He's throwing to the outside and somehow caught by Katie Cannon, but he does not get enough for the first down. Read option for Chris Johnson. He's got the first down and more. He stiff arms the defender away. He's in tie to Cougars territory. A four wide set for the Baylor Bears. Throw to the outside and he's got his man Jones. A very big strong receiver is Quan Jones who has the first down. Only one down lineman for Washington State to throw across the middle for Platt. He's inside of the 10 yard line. A very good drive for Baylor. They need to get some points on the board though. First and goal from the 10 yard line. Chris Johnson, he's got Terrence Williams. He's into the end zone. A 10 yard touchdown reception. Chris Johnson playing pretty well. 10 for 14, 118 yards and one touchdown. A four wide set for Luke Falk. He will go ahead and take a shot downfield. And it's intercepted by Vaughns. Had a good matchup on the linebacker, but River Craycraft could not get the separation. Now Baylor with the ball once more. They'll try and set up a screen to Terrence Williams. He's short of the first down line, so we will head into halftime with a seven-point lead. We need to continue the dominance on defense in the second half. Baylor will start off with the ball from the 30-yard line. A counterplay to Terrence Williams. He runs right over defender and fights forward past the 40-yard line to around the 44. Second and 10, spreading the field out. A lob to the outside. Nice throw to Quan Jones. He's got seven yards, still short of the first down line. Only one down lineman. Johnson will try and scramble. He's still not down, but he finally will go down. A loss of 10. Baylor is forced to punt. Jamal Morrow gets the carry. He bounces off one tackler and fights through another. A gain of 14. Trying to establish the running game in this second half. Morrow gets another carry, and he is laid down hard after a gain of five. We'll go to a split shotgun set as a quick throw to Sebastian LaRue. Nice catch and good job hanging on to the ball there. River Craycraft comes in motion, a swing pass to him. He cuts it to the left, back to the outside. Another broken tackle. He's inside of the 15-yard line. Great play by River Craycraft to keep that play alive. Third and seven. Throw to Craycraft once again, and they say he did not break the plane. So first and goal from the inches line. Jamal Morrow once more, tries to bounce it outside, and he'll fall into the end zone. Might have been pushed in by a Baylor defender, as that is Morrow's second touchdown on the day, and he is now the school's all-time rushing touchdown leader. That's a nice honor for Jamal Morrow, who's had a very good career so far at Washington State in his final game. He's played very well also. A man in motion under center. Give goes to Terrence Williams. He is flipped and picks up four, so a big third down upcoming. Washington State will bring a heavy blitz. Johnson from the pocket. He will go down a loss of seven. Jesse Shaw, his first sack on the day. A huge season from the redshirt sophomore. 
Luke Falk into the flats for Robert Lewis. Another senior wide receiver on this team as he picks up seven. We'll go back to the split shotgun set. And Luke Falk is hit. He'll go down a loss of eight. So we lost what we picked up on the Robert Lewis catch. Falk to the air. Lobbing it down the field. Craycraft in between defenders. He's got a huge gain for 39 yards. Trips to the left for Washington State. A throw to the outside and it's intercepted looking for River Craycraft. Might be forcing the ball to him too much. Vaughn has it. He's running down the sideline. Breaks a tackle. And now Baylor in excellent position to put some more points on the board. A man in motion. Johnson tries to take off. He'll lose two yards. Sacked once again. This time by Jesse Shaw. His second on the day. Third and nine nearing the end of the third quarter. Williams has it. He might have got three yards. So Baylor will settle for a field goal. Still a two score game. Avery Burgess into the game as he is lit up on a loss of two. Third down as we're now into the fourth quarter. We've got to start to run some clock. And no one is open. A loss of seven as Luke Falk is sacked once again. He has been under a lot of pressure this year. Second and nine. We bring a heavy blitz into the flats on a dump down to Farback. He breaks two tackles. And Charleston White finally brings him down. But it was a struggle. A four-man front on third and one, and down goes Johnson. A huge play by Mo Tapa. The junior defensive tack will take back over. Got to run some clock. Give goes to Burgess. He's got three yards, so a big third down upcoming. Five minutes on the dot to go in the game. We'll run the read option. Luke Falk will keep it. The seniors got the first down and more short of midfield. A gain of 14. We'll go back to spreading the field with four wide. Luke Falk is hit and he'll go down, kept the ball in his hands too long. Baylor has done a nice job though of keeping coverage downfield. Sebastian LaRue will pick up 8 yards, so now much more manageable on 3rd down. A 4 wide set, Luke Falk to the air, he's got Robert Lewis for the 1st down, as that is a huge play. Trips to the left, Luke Falk will go to the air. A throw, it's caught by Craycraft, one man to beat, he breaks a tackle, breaks another, he's into the end zone, 35 yard touchdown, his 12th catch on the day, that's a school record, so we've had two school records broken today by Jamal Morrow and River Craycraft. Chris Johnson has it, he will go down, he's sacked once again by Jesse Shaw, his 15th sack on the season. Baylor now down by 18 points. It's got to work quickly. A huge third down upcoming, but you have to think this is four down territory. Throw to the outside. Platt has it. He gets a big block now to midfield inside Coop territory. A gain of 16. Two and a half minutes to go on second and 10. Johnson will scramble. He's out to the right. Cuts it back to the middle of the field. He's got 13 yards. A very solid drive so far by Baylor. Johnson will try and take off. Nowhere to go. He sacked this time by Brian Wiley. His third sack on the season. A dump down to Bennett, the backup running back. He has nowhere to go. A gain of seven. So Baylor will go for it on fourth down. This might be the game right here. Johnson to the outside. It's knocked down by Greg Hoyt. Our all-American outside linebacker will seal this game. We just have to run the rest of this clock out. Burgess gets the carry. Makes a cut. Baylor not going to use any of their timeouts as Burgess does pick up 8 yards. Under a minute to go. Trying to get some seniors onto the field. As Burgess has it, Jamal Morrow's day is done. As his incredible Washington State career is over, Luke Falk will take his final snap at Washington State. Take a knee and he will go out a winner as a Washington State Cougar. Luke Falk and another player are carrying off Coach Trey McKnight. A big play right here. This was just incredible. A perfect throw right into the hands of River Craycraft. And then he breaks not one, but two tackles and just runs into the end zone. Avoids the final defender. A big day from River Craycraft in his final game as a Washington State Cougar. And another bowl win for the Cougs. Our third straight. We now have two straight 10 win seasons. A tough loss for Baylor as they go to 7-6 and six on this season. But we do not care about them as River Craycraft 12 catches, 187 yards, and two touchdowns. But he does finish short of 1,000 yards receiving on the year. That does suck. I really tried to get him the ball as much as I could, especially once we got up by a little bit. Just was feeding him the ball. This was a very good game for Luke Falk to go out and did throw those two interceptions. 
but they weren't killers as Baylor did not capitalize on them. And also, they were just shots down the field, basically arm punts to some extent. Three sacks on the day by Jesse Shaw. Now, a look at the season stats. 3,300 passing yards. Jamal Morrow broke 1,000 yards just barely, only by 11 yards, 13 touchdowns for him. Over 500 yards running for Avery Burgess. River Craycraft is 61 yards shy of 1,000. 64 catches and 10 touchdowns, though. A very solid year from him. And Greg Hoy, 28 tackles for losses. And Jesse Shaw, 15 sacks on the season. Our defense was very good this year, especially very key players. As Luke Falk finished just shy of 9,000 yards passing in his career. 65 touchdowns, 44 interceptions. That number went up every year he played, though. That's the only bad thing. Jamal Morrow finished his, his Washington State career with two 1,000-yard seasons. Another that was pretty close, but that was Gerard Wick's year where he just dominated everyone. River Craycraft close to 2,000 yards receiving in his career. Jamal Moore actually had 1,000 yards receiving over 100 catches as a Washington State Cougar. That's nice to see. 293 tackles for Darius Lamora. Greg Hoard with 47 career tackles for losses, but he will be back next year. Daniel Akiwale, a player who will not have 14 sacks in his career. Charleston White with 11. Jeff Farrar with seven interceptions, respectively, in their Washington State career. Neither of them will be returning. I hope you did enjoy a very exciting game, a great way for our seniors to go out. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Let me know if you're excited for this offseason. I don't know if you've seen much of our recruiting class, but I think it could shape up to be a very strong one. However, the offseason will not be streamed this year. Sorry about that. I just don't have the internet connection right now to do it, but I hope you did enjoy. I will see you for that offseason recap. Cause I'm out.